In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this baby bed for my two-year-old grandson. He was outgrowing his crib and climbing over the side rail, so we took the side rail off. With the bed this way, he keeps falling out of bed. So I decided to make him a new bed with guardrails. I'm going to use the box spring from this bed in the new bed. I'm going to measure the length and the width of the box spring, and I'm going to add a quarter inch to each dimension so it fits into the frame easily. You'll see what I'm talking about at the end of the video when I'm assembling the bed. I'm making this bed out of regular 2x6s. When I picked them out, I selected the ones that were the straightest and cleanest looking. To make a bed this size, I need a total of 6 2 by 6 Before I cut the boards to the length I need, I'm going to make a clean cut on the ends. I saved the cutoffs to use for the front rails of the frame. Now I'll cut one more side rail at 50 and 5 eighths. These are the parts I'm cutting now, the two side rails and the two end rails. These are the parts I will get out of the two 2x6s two for the rail. Now I'll cut the two end rails out of the cutoffs from the side rails. The sanding is taking a lot of time and I want to show you what I'm sanding out. I'm trying to get rid of all the old saw marks and the chatter marks from the planer from the mills and making it a smooth board. All of these little imperfections will show up when you stain. Now I'm going to choose the best size of these boards for the outside, the sides that are visible. The sides are going to be covered by the mattress, that's where I'll put the imperfections. We're measuring three quarters of an inch from both ends. And this will be on the good side, the outside. Holes. After marking out the holes, I'm going to use a 3 8 spay bit and drill about a half inch deep hole to hide the heads of the screws. I use a piece of masking tape to gauge the depth of the hole. Now I'm going to use an eighth inch drill bit to drill the pilot holes for the screws. If I drill the pilot hole first and then use the spade bit, the spade bit will wobble in the hole and won't have a clean look. Now I'm going to use wood glue and two and a half inch screws to screw the frame together.
Make sure you wipe off all the glue because it will show up when you stain if you don't. Now I'm just going to check to see how square the box is. We're going to take that and measure. 61 or an eighth. And we're going to go the other side. And bummer, we're about a 30 second off. I can live with it. We are making little corner blocks to attach to the bed frame. These are just to hold up the metal box spring uh, during installation so I can put screws in. Here I'm measuring two and three quarters of an inch down. One inch is for the frame of the metal box spring and an inch and three quarter is how much of down. the mattress I want buried in the frame. Inch and three quarters. And now I'm going to glue up these blocks. I cut these blocks down to two and a half inches so they wouldn't stick past the uh, frame of the bed. Now I'll glue and nail them to all four corners. Now I'm going to sand the top and the bottom so all the joints line up and get ready for routing. Now I'm going to use a half inch round over bit in the router and round all the edges over so there's nothing sharp. This edge right here does not have to have a round over because it'll be hidden inside the bed legs. Next step is to make the legs. In part two of this video, I'll show you how I came up with the length of the legs and how I built the legs. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Until next time, thanks for watching.